Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of the Serket project, this project will show the history of the fictional exoplanet Serket. In this episode we will cover the second half of the Alpha biodiversification event and the shallow water phytozoan reefs. The phytozoan reefs are vast ecosystems that line the coasts of Serket similar to Earth's coral reefs making it a hub for biodiversity. Before we cover the new reef-dwelling aliens, we will cover the groups already pre-adapted to the reefs. There are the Arthronautens with their thin body are able to maneuver through the reefs, the Trullostomes are adaptable enough for almost any habitat. And Conchomorphs with enough algae are able to thrive in the reefs as well. In the crevices of the reefs many animals dwell including the Phytomorphs, the Ankarostomes, the Achillostomes, and the Orthoichthys. The Ankarostomes are descendants of the Trullostomes that began to consume the Phytozoans in its habitat, it has adapted sharp hook-like feeding limbs to rip off parts of the Phytozoans to consume. It also uses its feeding limbs as defense against predators, because of these new threats the Phytozoans developed a chemical defense to ward off these threats resulting in a biological arms race. Some Ankarostomes have evolved to become ambush predators becoming the Achillostomes it has adapted its feeding limbs into powerful hooked mandibles lined with hooked serrations, it has evolved venom glands at the base of the mandibles for injecting a paralyzing venom when it bites its target, it uses its venom mainly for hunting prey, it has adapted its first pair of walking legs into long antennae for sensing prey. With abundant prey some Arthronautens have adapted to feed on a wide variety of prey becoming the Orthoichthys it has evolved four blade-like teeth for cutting and slicing its prey and a stiffened rod of tissue similar to a backbone for better muscle attachments, it has adapted a single dorsal fin lining its back for better mobility. With increasing amounts of predators some conchomorphs have adapted to mimic the phytozoans becoming the phytomorphs which have adapted to grow larger to acquire more food and mimic the appearance of the phytozoans to hide from predators. While many animals hide in the reefs, many others live in more open waters surrounding the reefs such as the hadropinids, the teratesta, the magnetesta, and the squatopinids. The hadropinids are descendants of acanthopinids that adapted to live in the phytozoan reefs and adapted to feed on the abundant phytozoans there. It has adapted sharper mandibles like the anchorostomes for ripping pieces off of the phytozoans to consume, it has has evolved a green color to camouflage with the phytozoans and a primitive form of schooling for defense against predators. The teratesta are descended from conchomorphs that began to swim to escape predators and adapted to swim their entire lives, it has adapted its shell to fully enclose its body apart from its head and gills which it has adapted to use to swim, it has evolved a second arm and two eye stalks which it can freely swivel to keep watch for predators. It feeds on algae growing on the phytozoans keeping the reefs clean. The magnetesta are relatives of the teratesta that evolved to swim with their tentacles instead of their gills and has adapted to become large filter feeders swimming through clouds of plankton sucking in large amounts of water and consuming the plankton within. The squatopinids are relatives of the hadropinids that adapted to be the apex predators of the reefs, it has adapted an even more streamlined form to chase down its prey and stronger jaws to dispatch them. It has a more flexible exoskeleton for a wider degree of motion. With a lack of space in the reefs, the anthobrachids may adapt by attaching themselves onto the phytozoans with a glue-like substance and becoming more streamlined as to not get blown off by the currents. Now that I have covered the animals inhabiting the phytozoan reefs I hope to see you in the next episode where we will cover the open oceans. Goodbye.